Welcome to 2021, a new year. Happy New Year to you. Cheers. Let's get straight to it. I'm John Spinks, Course Escape campaigner, and this video is about this year's 2021 predictions for religious cults. All cults around the world, but also honing in, in no particular order, on the Watchtower Organization, Plymouth Brethren Christian Church, Mormonism, or Latter-day Saints, the Church of Scientology, and the Worldwide Church of God, just to name a few. But first, two things. What is defined as a cult, and who made these predictions in this video? So number one, what is defined as a cult? Is there a sharp distinction between a cult and a regular religion? Yes. And here is a clear and simple definition I offer you of the groups which these predictions apply to. A cult is any group of people with a leader or leadership that uses religion to control its followers. That's it. Cults are on a continuum of, continuum of control. Some are high control, some are medium control, some are low control, but control is control. Cultic, control is cultic. Control is not love. How much control is acceptable to you? So again, religious cult definition is any group of people with a leader or leadership that use religion to control their followers. The fruit of it, destroyed, separated and shunned families. Very easy to spot. So number two, who made these predictions that I'm about to read to you? This week I went on social media and asked ex-cult members for their cult predictions for 2021. And I've also taken the liberty to include a few predictions of my own. After starting this cult escape campaign almost four years ago, after spending a total of almost 29 years of my life in two religious high demand cults, I was born into the first one, I fell into the second one, but escaped both times and lost my family in the process too. But I'm not complaining, I'm campaigning. Uh, as always, feel free to add your comments below, whether you want to constructively or destructively criticize. It all gets the algorithm spreading the video out to more people, as does liking and subscribing it, if you'd like to. Notice the no coercion. Let's go. First of all, the general trend for cultic groups, and therefore an easy predictable for 2021, is that religious cults will experience demise like never before this year for many different reasons. And if you happen to be watching this and you're in such a group yourself, take note. Take notes. Here, so here's just a few general reasons to start with before we get into the specific cult predictions. 2021 is a world with more rights and more freedoms than ever before, where it's more and more acceptable for young people to choose their beliefs. Now, for young people in cults, the only way to slow this down is by upping the co cultic coercive control. But there's now a problem. It's becoming more and more socially unacceptable. It's being seen as abuse and is already a criminal offence domestically. Next, it will be an offence for religious groups to coercively control. Another reason for the general demise of cults in 2021 is the social result of the information age. The internet has given us unprecedented access to information about religious cults and the cultic groups stand out in today's society like a beacon shouting, hey, look, we separate families and coercively control our followers with our changing laws, rules and regulations. Thank you for allowing us charitable status. Thank you, taxpayer, for funding us while we continue to shun, ostracize and destroy thousands of families, which will continue happening in 2021. The ever-increasing awareness and easily accessible information of these cultic family separation groups is not going unnoticed. And the internet with Google, LinkedIn, YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, to name just a few, are the reason why many thousands of people like never before will be walking away from these controlling groups in 2021. Another reason is that bad press causes a decline in membership. And if you think cults had a bad press in 2020, Wait till you see what's coming this year. So there's a few generals. Now let's get specific, starting with the Watchtower Bible and Tract Society, better known as Jehovah's Witnesses. Here's what some are predicting in 2021. Excuse me. Cheers. If the kingdom halls remain closed, I see a great opportunity for people to start waking up and the physically in, mentally out, to fade and eventually escape. 
So when I said the current Watchtower strategy is going in the direction of them becoming an online religion, not being under the same policing as before, and 2021 will see many thousands removing themselves from under the control. Social distancing is giving JW members with doubts more time to think about how controlling and ridiculous the org is. This year, Watchtower Society will increase their efforts with increased emphasis on doomsday prophesying. But they'll not attract new converts. They will be a continual trickle of folks waking up and being able to leave. Youth born in will quickly lose interest and fade away as they mature. And with no young ones to fill the ranks, the whole cult will gradually fade into obscurity. There's one. There's a good one. I mean, a, an extreme one. My mum, who's still in, said they were being persecuted in Australia. And I said, prosecuted, not persecuted. And for the first time, she agreed what had happened was worthy of prosecution. So when I said, here in Oz, I'm looking forward to the Borg losing their tax status in 2021. Someone else said, I think that over the next few years, there will be a lot of ex-members will take court action to sue for post-trauma, past trauma brought on by sexual abuse and mental abuse. Plymouth Brethren Christian Church. A decade from now, someone predicts the Brethren Church will have ceased to exist unless they take all control and separation out of it. Unity is the only way forward and the way of the future. What we are seeing now, played out by humans and group structures in various manners and roles, is the chaos and disintegration of the patriarchal hierarchical system. Coercive control will become a criminal offence. That being said, it won't be an easy transition for many. Someone else said, the Aberdeen incident is the most recent schism in exclusive Brethren, Plymouth Brethren Christian Church history. And that resulted in a massive split with about 8,000 walking out after their man of God was found in bed with a married woman. They are ripe for another one. Another split, that is. Although everyone's livelihoods are financially intertwined in the Brethren's commercial system, a system that was once banned by previous leaders, once they start finding out that they are not legally bound as they thought they were, they will start leaving in their droves. Another uh, Someone else said, I was emailed recently secretly by someone who is still in the Plymouth Brethren Christian Church. This person is on the verge of leaving, who said that their family computer was monitored by the P Plymouth Brethren Christian Church via Streamline 3 software that tracks users and also an app called Life360 so that they know where this person is at all times. And this person said that they would be very suspicious. It would be very suspicious if it was suddenly turned off. Also, SL3, Streamline 3, is soon getting an update whereby it takes screenshots of devices when in use. This person feels they are under constant scrutiny, therefore. Again, this is a criminal offence domestically under the Serious Crime Act 2015, and with the ever-increasing awareness of society, the media and now the government all talking about this coercive control, this behaviour will lead to unprecedented scrutiny into the ethics of such groups who will be exposed in this coming year. Many will awake to what is actually going on and will leave. Latter-day Saints, known as the Mormons. 2020, the year of the COVID-19 pandemic, has given those devout church attendees a taste of freedom. More family time doing recreational activities. I can't see them going back to church on Sundays week in, week out. Someone said the church is dying a slow death, but especially in Europe. Too many people, young people, to many young people, it is increasingly irrelevant. In England, activity is about 10% as 60s, 70s generations are dying off and families are not joining. In the UK, they are losing a couple of wards a year. This year, they will lose more wards than ever. Someone said, I'm thinking at some point they will have to stop, to stop trying to please the intellectuals because they can't change or hide the history anymore. Then it will just get smaller and more extreme. Scientology. Scientology, the Church of Scientology, someone said, Scientology in 2021, implosion. Someone else said, what is different about the current situation is the number of facilities in the US that have been closed and boarded up, apparently for the original reason of security against possible riots. But with no signs of returning life now, that period would seem to have passed. 
Someone said their membership has been declining for the past decade, no doubt due to the relentless tide of negative PR that has emerged in books and films. Whether they will ultimately survive the turbulence can't be determined yet. Someone else said, judging from the past, expansion will continue to decline as more people connect to the internet. Membership continues to decline as Leo Remini, Scientology and the Afterbath is now available on Netflix. Worldwide Church of God. Someone said, it is too fragmented to be a force anymore. Someone said, honestly, I'm surprised that it still exists in any way, shape or form. My hope, belief, is that more and more people will understand what cults are and start to question their own beliefs. My prediction is that some, someone said, is that some of the splinters will linger on while others will die off from a lack of new members and old age. I also predict that the remaining splinters will splint some more. That's what they do. Lastly, the WCG, Worldwide Church of God, and its offshoots have already become mostly irrelevant and will grow less and less relevant as the years go by. So, there's Cult Predictions 2021. There seems to be some clear patterns there. One thing for sure is that awareness of cultic family separation destruction is increasing exponentially. Here's how I would sum it all up. There's a war going on. Love and freedom versus con coercive control and separation. And love and freedom is on the move and are gaining momentum and cannot fail. So love or control in 2021? You choose. Now, thank you for watching to the end of this video. Your reward is a bonus viewing of that painting behind me. I'll get it down and show you it. I painted it a few years ago and it's called Embryo. I love yellow, blue and green. And it speaks to me of a new life, a new start, new beginnings. It's okay to start again. And though this might look weak and fragile at the moment, the potential is limitless, as is yours and mine this year and every day. So, Happy New Year again. Have a wonderful 2021. And please share, comment and like this awareness video and subscribe if you can. You never know who it might help. Unconditional love to you all. See you in the next video.